So today's scam product is sold by a company called Technologies Incorporated. I feel better already. Hey guys, how are you all doing? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and you know, I've debunked plenty of tech scams here on the Computer Clan YouTube channel, and it's been a lot of fun. But surely, especially with the pandemic being a hot and serious topic today, no company would be diabolical enough to make a scam product which puts people's health at risk. And I spoke too soon. Colin Thrash reached out to me via the Computer Clan Instagram account and sent me a link to UV Len Sanitizer. Thankfully, he could already tell this is a scam. I'm glad people are nurturing their bullshit detectors. So let's dive into what UV Len actually is, but more importantly, what it isn't. UV Len promises to be a portable hand sanitizer that can sanitize your hands in less than 10 seconds. You know, just like any little bottle of hand sanitizer can do. But this is different. It works with your smartphone. And it's all possible thanks to their patented technology ultraviolet germicidal irradiation coat. Plus diffraction grating combined with a dichroic mirror filter built with fused silica amorphous. I know that sounded a little confusing, so I'm going to type that into my TechSpeak translator. And would you look at that? It's a long hand for bullshit. <laughs> well, now I know that. That's just great. It's not even plugged in. The way the product works is the user adheres a sliding piece of plastic to their phone. And when they want to disinfect their hands, they slide the plastic filter over the phone flashlight, use the free app, and sanitize their hands with the newly produced ultraviolet light, thanks to the power of the filter. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, it's a DIO BioSheet UV converter? <laughs> My bad. When I googled the name of this so-called technology, I only saw results which pointed to UV Lens brand. So this BioSheet thing, whatever, yeah, it sounds like a load of bullshit. Now before we continue, I will say, yes, UV light is used for sanitization in the medical field and in other commercial applications. That's totally valid. And typically when we're thinking about that kind of application, we're talking about far UVC light. Far UVC light falls in the 207 to 222 nanometer range of the electromagnetic spectrum. For comparison, visible light falls approximately within 400 to 700, X-rays fall approximately between 0 0.01 and 10, and radio waves fall way down here. In short, the shorter the nanometers, which means the frequency is higher, the more potentially dangerous the ray exposure can be to human tissue. That's why when we get x-rays at the doctor's office, we're only exposed to the x-rays for a short amount of time, enough to get an image, but not long enough to cause harm. In fact, the UV lens site tries to sound smart by talking about far UVC 222 nanometer light, and it claims the product is clinically tested, and it can work with your phone. No problem. Okay, so if UV light can be used in the medical field for disinfecting surfaces, well, surely a little bit of light can be used on our hands to disinfect our hands, right? Just as long as it's a small amount. An amount small enough where it won't cause any harm, but big enough where it can still disinfect, right? Well, there's only one little problem with this whole idea. Smartphones don't emit f***ing UVC light! Like, why? I can't believe they're trying to get away with this. In order for any type of far UVC sanitization to occur, you need a light source which emits far UVC light. But if a phone flashlight can't do that, then the whole idea makes no sense. UV Len claims their filter can produce far UVC light, but that violates the laws of physics. To be fair, this is a tech channel. Yeah, it's not a science channel. So we're not gonna go down a giant rabbit hole as to how the physics of light work. But we need to cover a few things quick. And then after that, I'll talk about a few more discoveries I made when poking into this company. So here's the problem. When a light source passes through a filter, the wavelength can never increase in frequency, AKA decrease in nanometers. It's an inverse correlation. If you shine white light at filters, blue light will pass through a blue filter, red light will pass through a red filter, and so on. This product is likely just a plastic blue light filter, which merely allows the blue colors of the phone's white light to pass through. You can't magically increase the frequency of a wavelength with just a simple filter. 
I briefly chatted with Atomic Frontier and Nick from the Science Asylum, and they confirmed the same information I just said about wavelengths not changing in this context. It's impossible. Hooray for fact checking! So if we can't change the frequency of these wavelengths, there's no way we're gonna be able to change them with just a simple filter dramatically enough to get them all the way to 222 nanometers where they can actually disinfect our hands. It's just not possible. But challenge, UV LEN. If you can show me, or maybe if some other genius scientist out there can show me, some magical way to passively change a wavelength from visible light to ultraviolet light without adding any additional energy, hey, I'll be impressed. You maybe will be able to rewrite the laws of physics. So your move, UV LEN, surprise me. So those are the basic physics as to why this product does not work and why it's a scam. Thankfully, they're only charging 15 bucks for it, so it's not the end of the world, but I still don't think this should be out there, especially during the time of a pandemic where people are concerned about their health and hygiene, although you pretty much should always be concerned about that. But yeah, especially now, this is not good. So here's a few other things I noticed when digging into these people. For the record, I did try getting a hold of them, but every time I dialed the number, I couldn't get through it. Just said the number or code you dialed is incorrect. So if anyone else wants to go to the website and try, let me know what your results are. Anyway, their website shows an app which lets you safely sanitize your hands through a strobe effect so you don't accidentally overdose on far UVC light. They insist you use it, saying the UV LEN is safe to use with the mobile app, implying that when you don't combine it with the app, it's potentially unsafe. But when I scan the QR code for the app, I'm linked to a generic strobe light app, which looks nothing like the app advertised. And it's not related to UV Lens product at all. So the lack of continuity there made me even more suspicious. But there's one more trick I have up my sleeve. It's not there anymore, I already spent it. And I call it the Crazy Ken Blacklist Test. Patent pending. I used one of my secret agent Instagram accounts to test their manual filter list. The manual filtering is a comment feature built into Instagram. I left a comment which used the words scam and fake, and sure enough, the comment was filtered from public visibility. I then left a simple comment, amazing, as the control for this mini experiment I was doing. And then, sure enough, the comment appeared just fine, confirming that UV LEN is filtering comments that have the word fake or possibly the word scam in them. So by now, I hope you're well aware that this is a scam, but hey, some of you probably already know what I'm gonna say next. I went ahead and bought one, at least I tried to. Granted, their website looks much prettier than the garbage sites I usually deal with, but no matter what I tried, I could not complete a transaction. The phone number field wouldn't let me type anything. The credit card security code field wouldn't work either. I actually had to copy and paste the number from a different app into it, and the pay button also wouldn't do anything. Oh yeah, and apparently I'm making a payment to Technologies Incorporated. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. So I decided to use the shop pay option and for grins and giggles, I tried it in Google Chrome and then boom, it worked. I'll update you guys when the product arrives because I will be doing a follow-up, so stay tuned for that. And what's the plan? Well, hey, it's gonna be just like middle school science class. Oh yes, I bought some Petri dishes, I bought some agar, and I bought some swabs. We're gonna grow little cultures of bacteria and see how well this product really works. I mean, I know it doesn't, but now I'm really gonna be able to prove that it doesn't work. I've never been so excited for a seventh grade science experiment. But for now, in conclusion, don't fall for this stuff. And please help your friends and family not fall for this stuff too, because this is not digital hand sanitizer. It won't do anything. It's all fake. Always rely on good old-fashioned soap and water and wash your hands for 20 seconds. In a pinch, if you need to use hand sanitizer and you don't have immediate access to a sink, that's fine. And hey, if you have an Apple Watch, use the hand washing timer. It will help you. So thanks again, Colin, for submitting this product to me. And if any of you guys see any other fishy knockoff products or tech scams, feel free to let me know. You can just message me with a DM or a tweet on Twitter at The Computer Clan. And feel free to subscribe to The Computer Clan YouTube channel so you can get new tech episodes every week. And if you want to help fund the future of the Computer Clan, plus get some awesome perks along the way, feel free to pledge to my Patreon. Thanks in advance for your support. And hey, if you liked this episode, you know what to do. Thanks for sticking with me, catch the crazy, and pass it on. Thank you.